Hi, I'm Lonnie. Welcome to my shop. I'm the designer and builder at thegreensmachines.com. I have some new machines to show you. Come on, follow me. For, for those of you that have not seen the videos or don't know what the walk behind tractor is, this is it. It is basically a bank of batteries, four group 24s. It has, it carries 340 ampere hours of 12 volt current. This bank of batteries also has a tractor tire and transmission on it. It has a power wheelbarrow attachment, which also, it has a front loader. And right here in the back, it has a set of rippers. So this will also, as far as plowing snow, if you get hard dirt, you can rip it or you can put a plow on it and plow your field. It'll plow quite a bit. Um, and it has a front loader on it. So if you would like to move a pile of dirt, pick up some gravel, um, or use it in conjunction with the rear rippers, the front loader will also scoop and dump. And at the same time, this will also run the dump on the power wheelbarrow. Watch this. All right, now this is the new walk behind tractor. I've been using it for a number of years and there's some things that I realized that I needed to change on it. For one thing, the implements now are, are removable. I put a two inch receiver on the front and on the rear of the tractor. Let's check the one at the rear. There's one on the front and the rear. The, the wheels are now, they're smaller, it gives me a little more torque for plowing and sometimes I need to go really slow in the low gear. The smaller wheels help for that. I lost a little bit of ground clearance, but it still has plenty. And we have a seven pin trailer plug. So this allows for a quick change of all the electrical implements that I go on the front or on the rear. This is the carrier that I use to move the backhoe or large amounts of dirt. It has um, heavy duty wheels on it and it's got a set of forks for lifting. I'm gonna show you how it works and it will make a lot more sense than to, than to explain it. Okay, this goes on the ball, lock it down. Let's plug in the plug. Like that, just like if you were gonna hook up a trailer. And then we have the pockets on the backhoe. Now that we've shown the backhoe and the heavy lift and the material carrier, now we have the front loader. It also has the two inch tube that goes into the receiver on the tractor. It has a seven pin plug to run the electrical for a quick change. And this is great for plowing, cleaning up brush, or moving material. Next thing is my favorite plow. This is called a chisel plow tried many many plow designs before I finally came up with one that really worked well with the walk behind tractor. This goes in the center, goes in the receiver centered, 
and it will it will do a beautiful ditch oh all the way up to four inches deep and then you can use a front loader to smooth it out if you need to then we have the ripper bar which goes on the back in place of the plow or in place of whatever would go in the back you put this on if you want to scarify the ground before you use the front loader to move the dirt and it also has the two inch bar to go in the receiver on the rear let's do a little changeover just so you can kind of see how this works i'm going to take the ball off the front I'm going to put the loader back on the front. Right there, the loader's on the front. Tighten it back up. We have our plug in plug in our seven pin. The loader's all ready to go. Let's make sure it works. Works great. Now we're gonna go to the back and put the ball, back ball in the rear. Put the ball in. up let's go back we're gonna put our grater on very simple Sit. now with this on the tractor we use the front loader for a counterbalance now if I want to dig I push down if I want to raise it up and spread the dirt out I raise the back of the tractor up now if I want to cut a ditch or do anything I use my feet to tilt the blade You'll notice that it's at an angle now, but I can also turn the blade to go straight or turn it the other direction. 